Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to terminate your, uh, your shield drain or your shield block um, using these solder sleeves. And we're gonna daisy chain it together with another piece of CAN bus. So I'm gonna move these out of the way. And it's the same kind of method that we used before in the fact that we're, uh, we're gonna take our wire, you know, our length, our second ring around it. And remember how we did that? We ringed around it and then we went lengthwise and then took that off. Then we took our shield and we smushed it up and we cut all the way around it. We exposed our, our wires. So here we have our, you know, this is a complete one. Uh, and that's what we should have. We should have an exposed shield. So now you're gonna take this little piece and this is the same thing as this, except for it just doesn't have the wire attached. So, you know, we'll, uh, we'll put our, our two uh, lengths of CAN bus side by side, and then we can size up this loop on how big it needs to be. Um, you know, these are gonna be soldered together eventually anyways, so, you know, it doesn't need to be anything crazy. So I'm gonna take it down to about right there. Then, I'm going to do kind of the same thing. I'm gonna wrap this braid around our shield there. So we got a good solid connection. And then put my solder sleeve right over the top of it. And then again, it's the same process with the heat gun as we used before. So. So we see there that our, our that center band turned a lot more silver than this one did. Uh, but we got our good connection and we've got a finished up daisy chain using the solder sleeve method as opposed to just soldering method. So there's our completed uh, shield drain or daisy chain of our shield drain.